Yo, what's up guys? Jesse LaFlair here with Shane Thunder Daniels, Team Tempest. And today we are finally bringing you guys the one tutorial that I've been asked for probably about a thousand, no, way more than a thousand times, uh, and that is the side flip tutorial. I have Shane here, um, who actually has his own channel, which I'll put a link right here, right there. Do, yeah, do it there. Shane's channel is pretty freaking awesome. He's just getting started. He just transferred his channel over. He uh, is actually going to be putting up a lot of you guys' acts for conditioning videos, and he, my friend, is, as you can tell, very well conditioned. Um, but he has incredible workouts that I'm, I'm thinking he's going to be putting up there soon. And uh, cool note, too, is you just work with Corridor Digital. You want to tell him about that? Yeah, um, I got hired with Corridor Digital to do an Assassin's Creed 3 video! Oh, man. Uh, Ubisoft actually funded it, so it should be pretty badass. And from what I saw of the footage, I've never seen a Rudy look so badass. <laughs> I will put a link to that in the description just so you guys can know where to find that as well. Um, what else? I think that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so like any move we do, we must first find our progressions to make the move more comfortable, right? A lot of you guys are saying how you're throwing it and you're not landing it. Pretty much means that you're just hucking it and I don't want you to get hurt. All right, safety first, um, and we're gonna talk about some progressions. So what do you got first, Shane? Right. Um, one common thing is sometimes people don't know what it feels like to do their side flip. So we need to get your body comfortable with doing it. And um, I would say a sideways shoulder roll would really mimic that motion. Yeah, so it's going to open up your spatial awareness pretty much, right? Spatial yes. awareness, your body getting comfortable, your muscles getting comfortable with a certain move and where you are in location to space, right? So exactly. let's show them what, what they can do to start. So because you're going to be low to the ground, you can start out with a uh, squat position and really just do a shoulder roll to the side and you will kind of get the gist of how a real side foot would feel. Cool. So one thing you might have noticed is it's not just a barrel roll. His body is not going flat to the side, right? His focus is actually on getting his hips above his shoulders, which you'll find is a key to doing a good side flip. So um, let's do one more. Good. All right, so your back's itchy because you've been rolling on the ground all day. Yeah. Now you want to know what your next progression step is. So we're going to do this. To increase our spatial awareness and bring it up to the next level, we're actually going to start to do it from height. Um, what normally you can do if you have access to a gymnastics facility or the Tempest Free Running Academy, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. you can you can use a block. So they have the blue blocks, orange blocks, whatever color blocks. As long as it's high enough, about hip high is usually pretty good. Um, as you get better, you can increase the height by flipping the blocks up or using bigger blocks, things like that. But most of you guys do not have access to blocks. Um, so there are a few other options. You can use things like hay bales or anything soft that you can roll over. A lot of you guys hopefully have friends. In this instance, that's going to be our next progression. Hey, I'm Jesse. How you doing, Jesse? I'm Shane. Shane's my friend. You too. <laughs> so he's going to roll over me like this, okay? You got a friend that's going to post up. Obviously, you can increase the height by trying to get taller get lower. You want to be rounded so your bones don't collide. And Brace yourself! Brace! Come on, man! Here we go. Good. <laughs> I'm on this side of Jesse now. That was good. That worked. So, definitely one way to do it. You can practice different ways. Um, make sure your body's in a good, strong stance. Right? You want to be strong here, locked out. You're trying not to roll onto them and really put all their pressure in. Yeah, good. Um, but you also don't want to jump onto them. So the idea is not to jump up and land on them. It's literally as you come in, you're going to roll over. Coming low and then across. Cool? Cool. So we've shown you the progression on the floor, how to do it safely, how to understand your hips going over your head sideways. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it to the actual jump and the actual flip. Okay, um, I would like to show you guys one time so that you can understand what I'm saying. So as you notice, as I start running, I go to plant my left foot first to initiate my gather step, which is also a blocking so that I can go straight up. Um, the idea for this is I'm using all my energy to go up and my momentum is taking me forward. 
So things to look at here is this is my left foot right here. It plants first as my right one comes around and I start shooting up. And as this happens, I'm gonna fully extend, get long and extend through the shoulders, as you can see over here. And then I start my rotation. So as you can see, Shane just explained how to gather all that energy that you're running in with, put it into height. One thing I want to mention is make sure that as you're leaving the ground, you guys are pushing as fast and as strong through your toes as you can. Notice that Shane is using his shoulders as he rides it up and starts to scoop down. One really common mistake with this flip and many other flips is that people try to throw their rotation way too soon. So make sure that you're just about to leave the ground or at your max height before you start to throw that arm down and around into your top. Now, as Shane tucks, you can see he gets into a pretty tight ball. His rotation is happening around chest height. His hips are going slightly over his shoulders, and he's starting to rotate fully around, okay? When he gets to his max and he starts to come back down, notice that his head is really neutral. He's not tucking his head into his shoulder. It's right between his shoulders, and he's starting the ground on the way down. Now let's talk about the landing. So as you can see I'm rotating through the air. I'm staying in a really tight ball. Uh, more importantly I'm keeping my head in a neutral position. Uh, this enables me to keep going straight and not bury my shoulders a bit so that I'm landing in a different position. Um, so as you notice as the rotation gets me to where I need to be automatically I'm ready to spot for my landing and as that happens I shoot down my left foot stagger out my right leg and momentum carries everything through. And that's your side flip tutorial guys. Um, I'd like to talk about a few mistakes again that people, I, I reached out on my Facebook right before I came out here with Shane and had a lot of people talking about how when they do their side flips they end up facing backwards or they're afraid to over rotate, things like that, and fear in general, right? First, let's talk about fear. This is a question I get all the time. Fear is generated from a lack of understanding. Uh, you don't trust yourself. Your brain, it fears an emotion. It's, it's specifically put there to keep you safe. So what we need to do is work those progressions. Don't just watch this tutorial and try to do a side flip. Do the little progressions we told you. Get used to the hips going over the shoulders and then find a friend or something to go over and then you could try it. Try it into sand, water, all these things that are soft, right? Safety first and then try to take it onto the grass or something a little bit harder so that you know you can do it. Um, talking about going sideways, what actually makes us, these people that are doing it, end up facing backwards? What, what's the, the deal there? What I think that happens is that everyone tries to look where they're going too much with their head. So naturally, your body's gonna follow where your head goes. So if you turn this way, your shoulders are gonna follow as well. So as you're doing that flip and you're turning your head, you're naturally turning your shoulders as well so that you're ending up turning to a back flip, like a yeah. donut. Yeah, yeah. And another common mistake people do too is a lot of guys were asking me on the Facebook, mine is more front flip-ish and then I do a turn and that's, that's exactly what you're doing wrong, right? You're coming into it and you're throwing your arm and chest is facing forward. So naturally when I start to go off the ground, I'm creating a rotation in my body. As my hips come over, I'm actually rotating around. Next thing you know, I'm facing backwards. So that's what we're gonna try to avoid by making sure we go sideways as we gather step in. We're turning our feet in sideways and throwing it up along our side. Yeah! Uh, and that's it. So again, thanks for watching. Please share this so all your friends, everyone else who can use this can see it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and there is a link right, I don't know, we'll put it here, for Shane's new channel. Make sure you hit that up. And then, of course, um, there'll be links in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Look, Peace! My, my hair is back. I got my hair back. I don't know where it came from, <laughs> but it's back. It's growing. <laughs> it's growing. <laughs>